We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. Here's Javier Baez, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the one and one pitch. To one and two now. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. The one one. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The next cub up, Chris Bryant. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Digging in, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That is second. The right fielder. Irvin. Into the box, Philip Irvin. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. In is Joey Votto now. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. A 1 1. Castellanos over at second. Irvin at first with no outs. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Number four hitter up right now. Clean up guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there. And that's out number one. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. In now for the Reds, Mike Mustakis. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Freddie Galvis batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and two strikes now. Bases are loaded here. Two down. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Aristides Aquino would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Popped him up. Contreras is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. 
Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He'll begin things here against Sonny Gray. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Urban is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the play. Career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's 0 for 7. 1 1. Fouled away. The 1 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Try again, one, two. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. That is good. So coming to the plate, Kyle Schwarber took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. That is clever. The center fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. So now to the plate, Ian Happ. And that's taken for a called strike two. Now a ground ball heading for the gold glover Votto at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Aristides Aquino. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And it's fouled away. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Set to get his evening Kirk. at the plate started, Kirk Casale. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. This is in the air to left field. Schwarber is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So here now is the pitcher, Sonny Gray, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. That's the ball. Hee -haw. Two and two. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Lester into his motion and delivers. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Two and one. Nope, that's outside. Ball. To two and two now. Two, two. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. That's the now ball. a curveball misses inside. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. That's lifted the other way out to left. Castellanos is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now at the plate, John Lester. The pitcher, John. Third inning, no Lester. score to this point. Lester. 
This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that brings up Javi Baez. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. One and two is the count. Hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Pitch on the way. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. Reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. In the dirt but swung on and missed. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Stepping in, Joey Votto, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, pretty deflating at bat right there, Matty. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull the trigger. Kick. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Jason Hayward, as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Oh, and they pulled a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Here it comes on one and one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. There's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here now the 2 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Now the one and one pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Stepping in, Mike Mustakis. He drew a walk his first time up. Now Lester deals the one two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Ball two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And Mustakis is aboard. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, number three. Freddie Galvis. To the plate now, Freddie Galvis. This is on the ground over to first. The second for one. Return throw gets him at first. It's a 3-6-1 double play. The batter. Digging in to try it again. Aristides Aquino. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. One and one. Here it is. Hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. So in now for Chicago. Anthony Rizzo. 
one one. Fouled off. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now back. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Just hung in there on that one. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. No runs, just one hit, one error for the Cubs to this point. Strike two called, and it's even at two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Ground ball foul down the left side. The three two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Popped him up. Mustakis is under it. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kirk Casale. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. And he'll come back two with one. one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. The 2-2. Two, two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And that misses ball four now to lead off walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. So here's the Reds pitcher, Sonny Gray. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Back to the top of the order now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. One one fouled away with runners in scoring position this season. Castellanos brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and the look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. Yeah this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left handed pitching great all season long. Here's Lester now on two and two. Swung on and chopped down the line at third. And that last pitch was number 74 for Lester in this one. Ready with another 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Ready for another chance. Philip Irvin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's a fair ball. The relay. Throw to second, but he's in there as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. At 
at the plate now. Joey Votto. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. Ball set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Castellanos is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first now out. The pitcher. Standing in, John. John Lester. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. No runs, just one hit. One error for the Cubs to this point. to two balls and two strikes now. Nope. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And that's the second out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Javier Baez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at 2 and 2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, and he'll lead things off in the Cincinnati sixth. Now the three and two pitch. Shot to third. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. The batter, the Second baseman. Stepping in now, Mike Mustakis. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. At the plate, Freddie Galvis. He was a double play victim last time around. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batting. Number 44. Standing in now, Aristides Aquino. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay home. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. So striding in, Kurt Casale. The 2-1 home is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. This is line to left. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. The throw into second. The throw, and he's tagged out at second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play.
Into the box, Jason Hayward. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Riding in once again, Chris Bryant. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. One out, nobody on. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So now with two out in the base is empty as Wilson Contreras. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Jeremy Jeffress hits the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Nick Senzel is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. That missed, that when you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one now away. No Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Now battle. The right field. So now to the plate, Philip Urban. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The first baseman, number Into 19. the box now, Joey Votto. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind them trying to drive. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Michael Lorenzen has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 21. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. No hits to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Now back. Kyle to the plate now. Kyle Schwarber. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The center fielder, number eight, Ian. And now Ian Happ. To the right side and through a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. Now time is called and a bit of a curious decision here to say the least as we'll get a pinch runner at third here. Don't know if something's wrong or what. Stepping in now, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis.
had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the run will score from third to make this a 3-2 to two ball game. Matt Bowman gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Jeremy. Victor Caratini will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number seven, Victor Caratini. One out, one on in a one-run game. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hit to third, right to him. Throw on to first, two gone. So stepping in, Javier Baez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Men on third with two down. And another foul ball. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard throwing right hander, Craig Kimbrell. Craig Kimbrell. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis. One out, nobody on. High and deep to right center. Hayward looks up, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis. Three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that's outside. He lost in ball four. Now to the plate, Aristides Aquino. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 1-1 one, one home. Hits in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And it's fouled away. One out and a runner on second base. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And 
and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Now batting. Stepping Hector. into the box, Kirk. Kirk Casale, one for Kirk. two on his line so far in the game. Now the three and two pitch. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Jesse Winker will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Pedro Stroke comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Pedro set to start the ninth in this one and next it'll be the outfielder Jason Hayward looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer and a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases and he's going to get to second now with nobody out Standing in now, Chris Bryant. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Line toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. Contreras. At the plate, Wilson Contreras. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now the with still base, nobody out. Anthony Rizzo. Now the one and one pitch. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Rizzo hits a little over the 270 mark. The 2-1 home. Squared that one up just a little late. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Grounded to the right. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there, and he's out. In now, David Bodie. Both the tying and go-ahead run stand in scoring position with only one away. Two and two. Two two. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And both runners are in to score as the lead changes hands. It's a 5-4 ball game. Rysel Iglesias now enters the game with the one gun field. in the top of inning number yeah. nine. Yeah. So now to the plate, Ian Happ in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Struck him out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And a foul pop behind the plate. Casale waits on it. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Dan Winkler comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Digging in and looking for more. Nicholas Castellanos. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. 
Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Baez is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. Now batting, Philip Irvin. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Has a look, now the pitch. Softly hit to the left side. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Reds down to their final out now. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Line drive to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Cubbies used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Craig Kimbrell gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Dan Winkler closes the door for the save, his 16th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Five runs, seven hits, one error. They left three men on base. For the Reds, four runs on eight hits, one error. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.